Rose, what's your view on the Minister for Social Protection's response to the issue? Um, I think that I was very, very disappointed overall that they didn't um, reinstate the PUP payments. And I don't think there's a realisation there of what families are going through at this particular time. And the number of bills, whether it be food bills, utility bills, um, loans that people would have out, have had out because people weren't expecting this, in trying to finance all that, I think there was a major mistake made in the budget that those uh, the PUP payments uh, weren't reinstated to the levels that were were needed in March and April, because the way we're looking at things now and the way the, the figures are looking, um, we're in the same situation, if not even worse. Um, at this time and we have to we cannot address the situation and the crisis that we're in by taking more money out of people's pockets we need to at least ensure that they have modest amounts of money to be able to just keep their head above water and that's why I would believe that this government are out of touch with ordinary people and the struggles that ordinary people are going through at this time and we have to remember as well I mean there was a recent pay rise there for, for politicians of something, I think, like two or 3,000 euro. So why would you do something like that? Why would you give a pay rise to politicians and take a PUP payment away or take the, the, the raised level of, uh, of PUP payment away for, at the same time from people who are struggling? It doesn't make sense. It just isn't. Yes. It isn't right. Yes. And that's why I didn't take, and I know my Sinn Féin colleagues um, uh, didn't take, we haven't taken with the last pay, five pay rises, I think it is, because um, just to, to show some solidarity with people who are really struggling uh, at this time. Well, just fair play, to help fair people get to over this gap. Yeah. Well, you know, it's the least, I think, that uh, that we could do. But I think our, our important job within Sinn Féin is to hold the government to account and to get them to see that things, you know, these headline figures of millions and billions um, doesn't cut it with many people when you break it down. Johnny, I was looking at it even in terms of, you know, I had a healthcare assistant ring me the other day, as many of them ringing me, but she, she messaged me for the budget and said, you know, is there anything in it for us? And I had to tell her, like, 10 cent, you're getting an extra 10 cent an hour with the raise of the minimum wage. Now, she was like, you know, I've been through one, uh, one um, the last wave of COVID where they had to sit and hold the hands of the dying. And now they're going through the second wave of COVID, doing the same thing where families can't get into nursing homes and all that. We're so dependent on our health care um, uh, assistants and health care workers. And yet we're telling them that they're worth an extra 10 cents an hour. Then we look at family carers who haven't had a break for so long. And what we've told them is that they are actually worth a whole 41 cent a day. It's not right. It's not That's right. That's no. all family carers got in it. And they haven't had a break because you haven't had respite and all that for months and months. And they're going to, you know, 24-7. And we tell them 41 cent. No, no. The, the inequality gap continues to widen in this country. And it is. It has to be addressed, has to be addressed. And I suppose that's our job within Sinn Féin is to hold government to account and to dig below the headline figures that, you know, we're all in this together and we're all, you know, we're all OK now. We've had a windfall budget. It might have been a windfall budget, but for many there was nothing or very, very little.